Hey. Hey, so how about on this session, uh, since you did a lot of the work on the, um, the FAQ content item and on organizing that into some landing pages that make sense and searching and applying tags and wrapping that all up into a feature that can be installed onto a tenant. How about we uh, take some time and go through uh, what we've got in Chime V5 in terms of uh, FAQ content items, how to organize that, uh, some behind the scenes on that, and then how you've uh, grouped things and how it can be managed. Yeah, uh, certainly. And, um, and ju just one sec before we get started. So the main uh, reason that we we have those uh, content items and the FAQ is that Chime is all about um, inbounding requests from employees and routing those to service desk agents. And one of the main things that we want to do is make content available so that they can self-service, so that as they come in looking for help, there can be a lot of content that's quickly exposed and exposed either through chat pipelines or through browser UI or possibly other ways so that um, content can be created that solves problems and then is exposed to folks as they're coming in. Um, and so the reason we're sitting on a CMS is to provide that functionality. And yeah, there you go. Take it away, Fikri. Yeah. Um, so um, I'll just uh, continue with uh, the FAQ item stuff. Uh, basically, in Chime V5, you have the ability to store FAQ or uh, knowledge base, if you want to call it, or articles. Um, and then in Chime V5, right after you deploy a new tenant, you have uh, two pages or two landing pages where you can show off all of that content. Um, the first page is this landing page. This is your home page. Uh, this is how it's going to look like. Um, so from here, you can see uh, that we have adaptive cards, text resources, bots, and the rest of these adaptive, uh, the rest of these cards that tries to group your FAQ items or your knowledge bases. Um, and then we also have this search bar that will be able to query or find uh, your FAQ content. Um, and then we also have these tags that is available uh, to all of your FAQs. And if you click on these tags, this is the second page where you can browse all existing FAQs in your tenant. So we have two landing pages, this FAQ tags landing page, and then this home page. And I'm gonna talk about um, well, what it looks like from the admin area and probably a little bit of code on how we organize this. So uh, from here, uh, we have these parts that we call featured content to group FAQ items or knowledge base items that are relevant to you. So for example, we want a bunch, uh, we have a bunch of FAQ items for adaptive cards, and then we want to feature them on this landing page. And the way to do that is uh, behind the scene, we created an orchard content type called featured content. And then in there, you can uh, handpick um, FAQ items for this card, for specific card, for example. Um, so I can show that behind the scene. If I log in, um, so yeah, so right now I'm in instant dev tenant, and then I want to go to the manager dashboard. And then if you click on content and then featured content, um, this is what, uh, this is where we organize all of that cards. So maybe if I go to the landing page again. So we have six of them, adaptive cards, text resources, and all of this. And these are represented in this uh, content items. And then if we drill down into it, 
we can see that this content item uh, is got three properties, title, icon, and content list. And these are what we render um, on, on this card. So this card, each card is made out of uh, these content items. Um, so for example, if I want to add or remove this, uh, if I want to edit this card, for example, I want to add a new FAQ, if I want to feature a new FAQ item for this report, I just go here and then search the FAQ item that I want to add there. So maybe I'll search report. Um, maybe I want to add this FAQ item. And if I hit publish, and I hit refresh, and it's featured there in your landing page. Um, and then if you want to update the label here, for example, you can just drill down to the report and then maybe you update it from there and hit publish. And you see reporting there. Um, so it's very straightforward updating this. So if you have a lot of FAQ content or knowledge bases and you want to feature uh, content that are important to you, uh, you can this featured content area and manage whatever uh, cards you have there. Um, so those are the cards and how do we render this? Uh, we're using Orchard Core Lucene query feature to render this. So behind the scene, we create an index for the featured content and we create an index for the FAQ items. After we create those, we create queries for, uh, we create Lucene queries so that we, we can list all of the featured content on the homepage here. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So on the admin area, if you click search and index and then Lucene indices, um, you can see three of this, but what we're actually using is just the FAQ item index and featured content index V2. Um, and then we look into this. Uh, it's very basic. Um, we just select FAQ item, and when you hit save, you're you're telling Orchard that this index is going to to uh, to be indexing all of that FAQ items. And let's see. And then we have this featured content index. So featured content is basically each of these cards. And we if we click edit, you can see that there is a featured content there that we index. So once this index, uh, this index is available, you can create query on them, and we click uh, all queries. Um, you see these queries, and we're using these two: the get all featured content v2 and the get one FAQ. So on the front end we're using the get all featured content to render all of these cards or all these featured content. And then we're using the get one FAQ to get uh, FAQ from the list of uh, FAQ items attached to this card or featured content. Um, so for example, this one we can test. We don't have to provide any parameter. Yeah. so. If I just query this, uh, it will return all of the featured content that is right now in your in your tenant. Um, so how do we render this? So this whole thing, this page is actually just a feature of content, just an orchard feature of content. Um, so if we go back to manager dashboard and content we have this pages content uh, and we have two pages right now chime homepage and the explorer if we click on home here 
uh, we'll see some HTML code and some Lucene query code. I mean, some, yeah, some, uh, or some liquid code, I'm sorry. So these are liquid code and in Orchard, you have a feature where you can query, you can call your Lucene query and this is the Lucene query that I'm calling, the get all featured content, where we index all of this featured content. Um, and then once, some qu once this query returns all of my featured content, I'm storing it in this variable, and then I'm just iterating it uh, to create all of that card. So this is just a for loop. And then in here, I'm creating each card. And we're just using bootstrap here. So scart, and then this is where I'm rendering the image or the icon for the featured content. And um, we're rendering uh, the label right here. And um, we're rendering a list of FAQ items in here that are attached to that featured content. Um, what's really nice about this is that it's really flexible. So if you want to update uh, your home page, uh, you know a little bit about HTML, you can write custom CSS, you can write uh, custom HTML elements, and, and uh, you hit publish and the update is right there. Um, is there any quick questions so far? Hey, Fikri, just one question. So we're sitting, uh, we're using Orchard here and we're using Orchard CMS and uh, these FAQ, the idea is that you might have hundreds and hundreds of FAQ items, but you might yeah. only want to feature, you know, 20 of them on your this featured content area. But behind the scenes, we have a whole bunch of other um, FAQ items. Can you just show us, like, uh, even in the admin, how you would view all of your FAQ items and just some standard, you know, just the definition and maybe how you would just edit just an FAQ item itself? Yeah, definitely. So um you can see all of your fq items or a list of your fq items from this chime basic settings and uh, if you hit fq items um it will list all available fq items in your tenant yeah yeah we do have 142 fq items and we only featured uh, some of them in our landing page um to edit them, you just click on uh, the label and uh, you can start editing from here. Right, and then so the um, the FAQ item itself is a new content type that we created that has a, a standard uh, orchard content type definition. We're exposing it as a markdown there so that you can, you can write markdown and then have that um, saved out. And then, each FAQ item itself can also be uh, have tags associated with it. So you, so each each customer might have different sets of tags depending on sort of their problem sets. Might be installation issues or hardware issues, or for us, it's a reporting question. But each FAQ item can have um, tags associated with it as well. Yeah. So, yeah, each FAQ items they ha uh, you can assign tags to them. Yeah, and uh, these are markdowns, which is really nice uh, formatting. Um, and then you can include screenshots. You can include images here, and uh, Orchard will handle all of that media uh, storage for you. Right on. Okay, so so for customers, they could create hundreds of these FAQs, uh, knowledge base, and then the featured contents for really the hey, these are like the top 20 that we see as most helpful, but a manager could add and remove those whenever they want, and then you're providing the structure so that they could do that, and they could even create new new featured content areas um, as, as sort of new uh, information comes in and they decide to expose different stuff. Yeah, exactly. Got it. All right. Cool. So, um, yeah, how about maybe back to the... Um, and then you're using you're using Orchard uh, queries and then the liquid templating to sort of iterate over those. Yeah, so um, 
Yeah, basically those two components, those two yeah. features, if you call it, the Lucent query and then the liquid. Uh, what you can do with those two is that uh, you call the Lucent query using liquid. Um, and then after you're calling that query, the query will return a list of stuff that you need. And then I'm just showing them in HTML. Right on. OK. Yeah, so uh, continue, continuing with what you said about uh, being able to tag. Yeah, you, you're you able to tag your FAQ item. Um, you can uh, assign multiple tags if you want to to an FAQ item. And if you hit publish, it'll be assigned to it. And then um, from Orchard, you can uh, you can search and and browse all of this the list FAQ items. Uh, but we also created for you a way to explore or navigate through these FAQ items based on tags that you have assigned to your FAQ items. So. That's the second page that we talked about earlier. So like if you go to the landing page. Um, so these are tags that are available in your tenant for your FAQ items. And if you click on one of this, we have this view that will show you uh, all of the related FAQ items to relative tags that you just click. So it's kind of nice. Um, the way we render this page, though, is a little bit different. Um, we have uh, an API that we call. Um, so if I inspect this. Yeah, so if I inspect this and I click on one of these tags, you will see that I'm creating a network request. And uh, you, you can see that I return an array. And then inside this array, we have um, we have FAQ item properties for uh, FAQ titles, author, content ID, and when it was published. Um, so these are actually rendered by API and uh, if you're a developer, it, it is nice for you if, uh, if you want to consume all of this data. And then if you click on one of this FAQ item, you'll be able to see the content and your markdown is rendered here. Right on. Yeah. So and, and then I guess one one more thing we won't we won't cover it here, but there is an idea that um, and, and we have it uh, running that these FAQ items these might they can also be exposed as part of a chat session as well. So as a user comes in, maybe they start a chat session for Microsoft Teams, they come up and they hit our site. Um, we can determine based on their question a uh, tag content that might be relevant to their question and then then the chat itself can hand back, uh, can search these these content items, these FAQ content items for tags, tag content, or or other uh, FAQs that might be helpful there, and can surface those up, which is slightly different than than you're showing here, but uh, but similar. Yeah, uh, and that's the chat the chat part of of uh, Cham V5, one of the features. Yep. Um, yeah. So, how did you how did you bundle this together? Uh, how do we deploy this to a tenant, or how is this structured in a sort of a I, I, Orchard? Just going to call it a feature, but how is this organized, uh, Fikri? How do you sort of organize this to be get deployed to a tenant? Yeah. So we have uh, a recipe, uh, which is an instruction for uh, when you create a new tenant. What to do after you? What to do when you create a new tenant? Um, what features you want to deploy when you create a new tenant? That recipe, um, that Chime V5 recipe, includes two features, which is pages and featured content feature. 
So these two features are, are actually baked into the backend. Uh, so if I open my Visual Studio, uh, we have a lot of Chan V5 features, and one of them is this featured content and then Chan V5 pages. Here, it was, here they are represented as modules. And then the, what happened here is that if you look at the let's see migration folder and then you look at the landing page dot recipe json we've included for you um like all of these icons and uh, some example featured contents six of them so that when we deploy a new tenant for you, you have feature example, feature content examples, and all of those, uh, and and those two pages created for you. Um, so we have these two features, and then we include this feature into our big Chime V5 recipe, and that's how we bundle them. So the yeah. setup is automatic. You just have to uh, provide your you just have to upload your FAQ content and then you can handpick your feature content for it. Yeah, and then there's another uh, session that we might do at some point. Uh, and we 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 have built uh, an importer that could import, let's say, Markdown that's on a file system and, and then import that up into, into FAQ content. So the idea is that at some point you might want to easily ingest or quickly ingest a lot of existing content that you might have um, up into FAQ content. But the other side of that is very uh, straightforward since we're on a CMS for people just to go and create that FAQ content um, and we're creating the content type. What's that look like in the admin area for us in terms of features, um, Bikri? Um, yeah, I can go back to Orchard admin. Um, you go down here, features. Yeah, from the Orchard area features, from the features area, this is what it looks like. Uh, we have the featured content and then we have pages. Uh, but when we create a new tenant, these are going to be enabled automatically. So you don't have to worry about enabling them yourself. Right. Those are, um, so those are the, the, uh, the two features that you worked on there. And then there are a lot of other uh, just Chime V5 features that are out there as well to kind of build out different parts of the system. Yeah, uh, we have adaptive cards, agent UI, which is pretty interesting. Um, we have tenant uh, file attachments, a lot of stuff here. Yeah, right on. Okay, so it's, it's delivered as part of um, two features, automatically installed under the tenant. Yep. We've got an FAQ content type that's under there, and then you've got a featured content area that you can structure this. And then can you just go back to the, the main UI landing page one more time? Yeah. The, um, for us, what we did was we ingested a, um, let's say, a, a a wiki that we had that we dropped down to Markdown and then we ingested it in. And then these were areas that made sense for us. Content talking about adaptive cards or text resources or reporting or installation or development. But customers would have completely different uh, featured content areas that they would want to create and organize um, that would be specific to the problem sets that they're seeing. And then you've made UI so that that's very easy for them to change and they get a great looking UI and then they can quickly bubble up main level FAQs that make sense for them. Yeah, I could imagine customer might have uh, maybe uh, organizing this feature content based on their problems or language. So you could have English, uh, Spanish, uh, and other language if you wanna organize uh, based on language or based on problem like maybe IT problem for password reset, or maybe customer problem. Um, yes, yeah. problem. Yeah, it's pretty flexible in terms of how you want to organize this. Right, uh, and then and then um, when you were 
when you were showing the features, there was another feature that we have back in there called Cognitive Services. That's, I believe, a pipeline activity that we have that that's sort of designed to take the question that's coming in and then run it against an Azure Cognitive Service or set of Cognitive Services uh, tools and then return back uh, maybe uh, keywords or or associate those keywords with tags or do other things with that uh, that help us surface up content that would be helpful for that question or even possibly that entire discussion. Yeah, yeah I think it will be very uh, exciting if we can show off uh, some of the pipeline features that is available to you and how flexible the pipeline is, including being able to add a uh, county service and um, being able to understand like what feature, what FAQ items you have and what content inside them. Right. Because at the end of the day, when you want to uh, resolve issues, before you route it to an, an agent, and the goal is solving stuff before we have to route it to a, a an agent, uh, having this uh, repository of content under you that you can quickly manage, you can surface, we can query, we can deploy, we can uh, deliver that content either through the browser, through an API, or through a conversation. Um, that becomes really helpful in terms of um, quickly adjusting to to either new inbound issues or or wrapping up uh, what you know are going to be inbound questions that you already see a lot of. Yeah. Right up, right on. Anything else, speaker, you'd want to cover? I know this is this is sort of the um, the high level, and then drive into FAQ and featured content. But anything else you'd want to go over? Uh, I think that's pretty much all. Like uh, these two pages are uh, very straightforward. Yeah, and I think we covered. Uh, enough on what goes behind the scene. Um, so you have featured content and then you have FAQ items that you can assign to this feature content. Yeah. And then you're using Lucene queries and using Liquid, uh, HTML, CSS, and all of that flexibility is, uh, is available for you. Right on. And then I guess the, the last thing you sort of touched on in the beginning, but this is uh, one tenant, so this is sort of an instant dev tenant. But um, and then this instant dev tenant kind of has its own branding associated with it. So there's a Chime logo, but that would could very easily be, you know, any other customer logo, and that tenant would be specific for that customer. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're resetting. So that content list that you see right there, that's just FAQ content items, isn't it? That's just like normal content picker in Orchard. Yeah, this is just an like Orchard content picker. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you have lists of all of your FAQ items in your, uh, in your tenant right here. Yeah. That's excellent. Cool. Hey, thank you very much, Vikri. Yeah, no looks problem. great. Thanks. Um, Vivek, do you have anything you'd want to cover? Uh, no, so it looks good. Right on. All right. Well, thanks, Vikri. And then um, next time, we'll probably go over some of the things with pipeline activities. Um, and I hope you have a really nice weekend. And uh, thanks for giving us a demo. Yeah, thanks, Payne. Thanks, everybody. Okay, see ya. See ya.